I'm really upset. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm totally freaked out. And I told you this last week before the shooting. And again, my whole life, I haven't gone off my feelings. And every time I don't follow my feelings, it's bad. Every time I follow my feelings, it's right. And man, I've told you, used to, I was getting chills like maybe twice a year when I saw something happening. Then I started getting chills every week, then every day. Now it's just one big chill. And something bad's about to happen. Believe me, the tears that I start getting in my eyes are, 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 are tears of bracing. You know, like when you see something incredible, uh, you'll get tears in your eyes. You ever been, you heard a piece of music at a live symphony and you get tears in your eyes? It's so powerful. I'm not saying I'm getting tears in my eyes because it's a good thing. It, it, it's more than like, a, like I'm sad or it's fear. It's more like, ooh, get ready. I mean, watch your six. I said that a few weeks ago. I just said, man, I feel like the angel of death flapping around. And maybe it's that I'm in danger, but I just commit myself into the hands of God. That's all I can say. And, 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 and I want to say this. I keep meaning to say a prayer on air, but I don't feel worthy to say a prayer on air. I feel humble. I just love my children so much, and I, and I love my children so much in their innocence. I love other people's children. And I know what everybody's thinking and saying who's got children. That's why the globalists use the murder of children to control us. And it makes me so mad at the Democrats who are just murdering children everywhere with wanton abandon, trying to force women in uh, India and China and Africa and Latin America to have abortions, and they are forcing them. The Apple factories where they do forced abortions, that's mainstream news. And then I've got to be lectured all day by them about how much they love kids. I mean, it, it just, I know they're criminal dirtbag filth. I know they got it out for us, okay? I know intellectually, I know geopolitically, they're bad, 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 bad. The Democrats and liberals are the vanguard of the New World Order. The Republicans are their camp follower placeholders meant to fool us to think there's opposition so we don't really get involved. The Republicans are, 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 are horrible Benedict Arnold uh, stinking compromisers. Okay, so I don't like them either. But the Democrats are the ones that want to collectivize. I mean, you can pull it up. Obama took the funding off three and a half years ago. Uh, that uh, to, to his credit, uh, Ronald Reagan had, uh, had, had, had killed uh, to, to, to force women to have abortions in Africa. And, and it's not some bleedy heart thing, okay, about I'm trendy so I don't kill the black people. Man, let me tell you, folks, if they can abort those women's kids forcibly, they can get me. Again, you understand, and, and it's, not that, it's not that I intellectually make that decision and get upset. I can, an just a gut level, I'm threatened by that, and then I can analyze, why is your gut threatened by that? Because the gut knows. The gut, the gut knows everything. The gut, and it's not even the gut, it's the heart. It, it, people call it the gut. It's right here in my heart. I know things. I feel things. I was talking to one of the reporters uh, who's moved down here, and his family still he hadn't been able to move down here yet because Austin's so hard to get into. It's boomtown compared to the rest of the country. And I came in that morning before we even knew about, the. you know, I walked in, they said, we heard about the shooting. And I said, yeah, I heard there's a shooting, you know, one dead. You know, at first it wasn't, wasn't all being reported. And I told my wife that night, I said, I'm having dread. I told, I told, uh, uh, and I walked in, I said, bad stuff's about to happen. And one of our reporters, he, I didn't ask permission. And uh, I don't know if he wants me to tell the story, but I'll, I won't, I won't tell it unless he wants to tell it. He said, you know, I talked to my wife. She had a horrible nightmare that night of men rappelling down into a school and shooting little kids. And uh, his wife's a teacher. And it was one of those dreams that upset her so bad she called her friends about it. See, I've had dreams that actually come true before that I've told people about, and then they come true six months later. And as I walked around the corner and this guy tried to mug me, I had a sick feeling walking around the corner going, I've been here before. And it was the dream and the guy and the shirt and everything. But, but again, I'm not getting off into mumbo jumbo here. The point is, is that I told everybody I'm physically sick. That whole week I said, I, something bad. And it's not just the murder of these three little precious children. It's that they're launching. This is the bugles sounding. 
The charge is on. They're coming. They're coming. What did I say last week on the show? I, th I think on Monday's show, I used the Lord of the Rings analogy, Fellowship of the Ring, when they're in um, the Mines of Moria and they're reading the book about, you know, drums, drums in the deep. They are coming. They are coming. And they hear the drums. Drums, drums in the deep. And they're like, get ready. And I said, get ready. Get ready, get ready. I mean, we've got instincts that God gave us, ladies and gentlemen, and my instincts are just going off like bloody murder right now. Bloody murder. Okay, And it isn't just these 20 kids. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, things are about to get really bad. I've never, ever ever felt anything even close to this. And I remember I went on air and said they're going to blow up the World Trade Center and blame it on bin Laden July 25th. And Jimmy Vaughn is one of my witnesses, the uh, blues singer. He saw that, and that's what woke him up to the show, because then two months later he saw the attack. And, of course, there's the video of me on Access TV saying it, too, and I did it on the radio. But the point is is that I had a gut feeling about that. Also, I could see all the preparations. So it's a combination. And it's not like something I can even control. It's not like my brain says, there's gold buried in that field. Go, go dig it up. Or, you know, I know the lottery ticket. It's not that. I only have discernment, folks, on things that are big and affect humanity. And let me tell you something. What I'm feeling is 10 times anything I've ever felt. Maybe 20 times. I mean, it's such a feeling of concern. I can't even describe it to you. And I just pray that this country and this world repent for the abortions and all the bad things we've done. And I pray that people will open their eyes, but will also put that into action to stand up against evil because it's coming in like a flood. And I pray that the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against it. Please, God, there are so many innocents in this country, and I know we're evil. But the enemy has just gotten us with the television and high-tech systems of control. And I know that we're like dirty rags. But please, please give this country and this world a second chance. Whatever is about to happen, just please, please, please give us a chance. Like, like Nineveh was given when your prophet Jonah was sent there. And, and give us a reprieve if we'll humble ourselves and, and repent. Amen. I mean, that's my simple prayer, ladies and gentlemen, but being this awake is exhausting. I mean, I'll just tell you right now because, and it's frustrating to know how wicked these Democratic Party operatives are, how bad they are, how evil they are, how duplicitous, how murderous. And, you know, I try to hold back. My gut tells me the White House, people controlling the government's, were involved in this. That, that's what my gut tells me. And I told you that on Batman, and it came out. He was in a mind control program, Department of Defense, had a Department of Defense psychiatrist assigned to him. People said, folks, let him in. Uh, smoke bombs from both sides. He told people in the jail he was under mind control. I mean, that came out, too. I mean, they're doing it. They're doing it. They're staging it. That's what my gut tells me. It's never been wrong. But I, I'm not going to just sit here on air and lie to you about how I'm feeling right now. For all we know, I mean, they're demonizing this goth guy they profiled and set up. He may not even be it. He was under psychiatric care again. We don't know. They reported multiple shooters. As we saw in Katrina, and as we are watching now in New York and New Jersey, the federal government can't and won't help you in a crisis. FEMA ran out of water and MREs in days. Electricity is still off to over one million people. The Red Cross, who is quick to beg for money, is now slow to react. Don't put it off any longer. Get prepared today. While you're on InfoWarsShop.com, check out these other great preparedness items. The Aquapod Kit lets you store up to 65 gallons of water in your bathtub. The Pocket Socket provides you with manual electricity for small electronics like your cell phone. The Life Straw is great for your bug out bag. And check out our complete line of inner food products for great tasting and nutritionally dense foods that have a great shelf life. If you are looking to secure your home in a crisis, you can order Strategic Relocations, the film, a great companion to the book Strategic Relocations, third edition, and The Secure Home by Joel Skousen. When the time to perform arrives, the time to prepare has already passed. Get prepared now, so if a crisis strikes your home, you and your family will be secure. 
Go to InfoWarsShop.com. The only way to defeat these globalists is to come straight on. Come straight on these opportunistic vampires using another tragedy while they're killing thousands of children every month worldwide, handing them over to Al-Qaeda, bombing their villages, blowing their arms and legs off, blowing their lower mandibles off as children run screaming, their tongues hanging out like Colombian neckties, crying for mommy and a slurping sound. Listen to the little girl in that video. She's going... The uh, Arabic name for mother, the report was saying, she's saying it over and over again, and it's slurping and slothing out of the hole in her throat. Oh, did Obama cry about that? No, he didn't cry about that, handing over a country to Al-Qaeda. By the way, folks, I don't know if this was staged or not. It has a lot of the signs. The Batman thing had even more, and now, I mean, come on, DARPA, mind control program, mainstream news, telling people in jail he was under mind control, on and on and on. But and even mainstream news has been reporting on that now. But in this case, the globalist will always get something in your face. And in the dark night rises, and we're going to put this up on screen. I'll plug the YouTube channel it's on uh, if you minimize that. And, and then I'm going to get a Don Salazar to do a report on this. Uh, the only thing you can read on the uh, map from Cybertribe Network from a clip from the film is Sandy Hook. And they're talking about how they're going to bring it down. Uh, there from the Dark Knight Rises. And again, they ran six months before 9-11 where the government hijacks a jet by remote control to blame it on Al-Qaeda using a terror drill as the cover to fly the jumbo jet in the World Trade Center so they can attack Afghanistan. Sandy Hook. Let's go ahead and play uh, what they break down here. Here it is. Oh yeah, I'm gonna play it on air. That that's why I was saying we're gonna we're gonna play it on air, the uh, video uh, of it. Okay, just whenever you're ready. Talking about a plane in the movie, you see him pointing there, right there by the walkie-talkies. Well, if you get a, a close zoom up on the shot before he puts his hand on the actual map, you see it here. What does it say? Sandy Hook. It's the only thing that you could read out of the whole map on this particular scene. Uh, don't you guys think that's a little strange? Look at that. Sandy Hook. This is the dark, the dark Knight Rises Batman movie. And uh, I think they've made a number of references. Yeah, that the, could be that could be a coincidence. But not the hundreds of, of, of TV shows and things where 9-11 is an attack that's coming for years before 9-11 or where the government hijacks a jet to blame it on Al-Qaeda by remote control to fly it in the World Trade Center to blame Afghanistan. No, this is all preconditioning. And this is what the globalists are into. It's, it's all a giant public occult ritual. They call it lesser magic. They need to tell you about what they're going to do over and over again before they actually do it. 